What's up everyone? Josh from Extreme Truck and Auto. What I'm gonna be doing today is a review over the trigger accessory system, which I installed in my Jeep about a year ago. This is one of my favorite accessories I did install on the Jeep. While I have you guys here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way you guys can get notified when I do more reviews or any other cool content that I put out. And let's go ahead and get started on this. So what I told you guys we were gonna be doing is actually a review on the trigger accessory control system that I have hooked up on my WJ for all the lights. I've been running this system for about a year and I am super happy with it. It's a really, really cool system and I can't wait to show it to you guys. So first thing is, this is very, very, very easy to install. It is literally just power and ground. I've got it routed down here to the fuse block. Now you can, there is three wires, obviously the power and ground, and then there is the wire that turns on the system. So if you wanna hook it up to ignition, you can do that. Or like I have it, I just have it wired to power all the time. So that way when the Jeep's keys aren't in it, I can still use the lights. The next thing I really like about the trigger system is that you don't have to run any wires into the cab whatsoever. It is all done through Bluetooth. Um, they do offer an app. I will go over that here in a little bit. What you do have is this controller right here. Now I do have an older system. Like I said, I've had it about a year. We had it sitting on the shelf for a while. I basically bought it from the company and installed it to run it and see how it worked. Um, we've been actually using these on a lot of our installs because of how well it's worked out on my own personal vehicle. So if we come back here and we look at the controller, if I just click the button, the lights come on and off. It's a really, really neat system. Another thing I really like is it comes with a base that you can put anywhere that's uh, hose clamped or drill mounted. But what I did was I got a little magnet or a little piece of metal for the magnet on the back. Yes, this thing is magnetic. That little piece of metal that I have sitting in the car, I just stick it to it and that's where it sits. If I ever need to take it out and use it on you know, camping or anything like that, or I just need lights in front of the vehicle, I can take that out, stick it to the hood, side, fender, whatever. You can also throw it in your pocket, drought right in the trails if you have like a can in or something. And then when you're rolling up to your vehicle, you can hook up your lights to basically anything on the vehicle. <clears throat> or if you have a trailer, you can even do it to that. Really cool thing about this whole system is that it comes with wires. So it's really easy to keep everything organized. And then if you don't like what trigger you have it set up on for that light, you just disconnect it. There's four connections. I got one running back. I got an empty one that I have plans for later on down the road. And then I got the two up front. And the way I have this wired in is one and two are my front lights and four is my backup lights, my rear lights that you guys saw me install into the bumper in my earlier video, which I will link above. I have it controlled by this and the reverse. Next thing I wanna talk about uh, with the trigger system accessory control is their app. Now this does have horrible ratings on the Google Play Store, and I'm sure it does on Apple as well. It's kind of a bit tricky to figure out, but once you do, this is the coolest part of the system. But once when you get it, this is, it's, it's super cool. I can't get over it. So let's go ahead and turn on, we'll turn on my front lights here. As you can see, I just hit a little button right there. It turns it on. And then here's the really nice part is you can actually control how bright these lights are. So full power, draw it back. That's really, really nice. So if you're out on the trails and you're following somebody, you can actually dim the lights so they're not as bright. And then if you go and take the lead, you can go back to the full glory of the lights you have on the front. The next feature I really like is if I was to ever break down or my wife was to have a flat tire, I would hit this little lightning bolt right here. And what that does is it actually strobes the lights. You can do that to all four of them. It's really cool. And man, if I was on the side of the road, that's gonna get somebody's attention, trust me. And even when it's in the strobing function, you can dim down the lights. So if you don't wanna blind oncoming traffic, you know, you just turn them down. So we've gone over a bunch of pros. Now one con I did mention was the app is hard to get hooked up. Once you get it hooked up, it's really, really cool. Another thing you can do in the accessory is you can label what each accessory is it tells you what each one of these are. So if you have your phone sitting on your dash, you don't even need this controller. 
throw it in your glove box, whatever, and just run this off of your phone if you wanted. This app really takes this to the next level. Wish it was a bit easier to connect. A lot of the negative reviews were from two, three years ago. I would recommend this system to anyone who is looking to put lights on a vehicle. It could be, you know, your weekend warrior when it comes to off-roading or overlanding. It could be for everyday use, like I use for my fog lights on any vehicle. I could do it on my wife's Pilot. I could do it on, you know, my dad's Subaru. Any of those other vehicles, I could put this system on and it would work out just great. Like I said, tons of time saved by not having to run wires up into the cab, wire up switches, figure out where you're gonna put them, drilling holes in the dash, making switch mounts, any of that. They've already done all that for you with this wireless controller in the app. So guys, that's my review about a year into using the trigger system. Like I said, I highly recommend it. If you guys have any questions about it, go ahead and post them in the comments below. If not, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.